are here and we'll be discussing the gate xlp 2023 chemistry solution so the first solution the first question which we'll be discussing here is the question which has came from the topic ionic equilibrium So this topic is from the, this question is basically asked from the topic that is ionic equilibrium. So in this, they have asked that which one of the following mixture will give us a buffer solution in water. So before coming to the answer of this question, first understand what do we mean by the buffer solution. Okay, so buffer solution is basically a solution of weak acid plus the salt of weak acid and a strong base. Or I can also say that this buffer solution can be a, a weak base plus the salt of weak base and a strong acid. So if we look at the various chemical compounds which are given to us, the first is the CH3COH which is an acetic acid and the acetic acid is a weak acid. And when we talk about NaCl, NaCl is a very good electrolyte. It basically dissociate into Na positive and Cl minus ion. When we talk about sodium hydroxide, the sodium hydroxide is a strong base. So here the sodium hydroxide is a strong base, strong base, which means that we'll eliminate this, these two options. There is no use of this option. Now, this is a weak base and this is also a weak base. Now we have to think in between these options. Now if we have, if we are taking the weak acid, then we have to take that salt, which is a salt of weak acid and a strong base. Like if I take CH3, COOH, this is a weak acid. If I react it with the HCl, let's say I'm reacting it with the HCl unit or for better thing I can say instead of I can react it with HCl also, but at HCl will be a, I can react it with HCl, I can react it with NaOH, but for the buffer solution, what we need? We need a salt of weak acid and we need not a strong base acid. There is no requirement of strong acid, but we have to take a strong base. And when this strong acid reacts with a strong base, it will result in the formation of CH3COO minus Na positive, plus there will be the elimination of the water molecule. So this will be what? This will simply be the salt of, so this entity will be a salt of what? Of weak acid base, right? This means that the option, this will be the wrong answer and this will be the right answer. So a buffer solution in water, so this will be the correct option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, which is the major product formed in the given reaction? This question is from the topic biomolecules. Okay, this is the structure which is given to us and as we can see that it will be a most probably a structure of glucose and we know that if we cleave this structure or when this structure undergo hydrolysis, simply this 
this molecule okay i am labeling it as a molecule so this a molecule can be drawn in this way it's when it's undergoing if i draw it this is a cyclic form okay this is the cyclic form i am not drawing now in the cyclic form instead if i convert this a from its cyclic form to its a cyclic form then what will be the structure of glucose it will be cho we draw four bonds oh h oh oh and correspondingly here it there will come h oh h h and here there will be the presence of ch2 oh unit this is a very simple and straightforward reaction whenever you study bio molecule chapter we come across this reaction so whenever this molecule that is the glucose undergo the bromination reaction in the presence of water or hydrolysis reaction bromination reaction in the presence of water where the ph is maintained to be 6 this glucose will convert into the gluconic acid basically this is the condition that is the reaction in the presence of water in the acidic medium as you cannot see that we have made a acidic medium this reaction is simply a oxidation reaction this is the condition for the oxidation so oxidation reaction is taking place and when the oxidation reaction occurs then this unit cho is basically converting in converted into cooh so here i'll draw the structure again oh h oh oh then i have to write here ch2h simply the aldehyde group is converted into the acid so what is happening here here the oxidation is taking place now we'll have a look here both the groups are getting oxidized so this is not the correct option one group is this group like this is the aldehyde and here the one uh, one degree alcohol is basically getting oxidized so this is also not the correct option definitely if you are having the aldehyde and you are having the alcohol we know this series that first the alcohol will become get oxidized and will convert to the aldehyde and when the oxidation will take place the aldehyde will first convert into acid okay so this will not be the correct option the correct option will be the c one fine now we'll come to the third question the third question is regarding the metal oxide and this question as you can see the elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium these are the alkali metals alkali metals belong to which group the s group so this is basically the question which is asked from the s block okay this question is asked from the s block now we know if we talk about the size of an anion and when we talk about the size of the cation so here we are having the alkali metals right since we are having the alkali metals what i can say that down the group the size of the metal ion increases which means that lithium positive will be smallest in size then comes ni positive then comes lithium sodium potassium and then comes the rubidium positive i hope this is clear to all of you this is the size order as simple as that this molecule is basically combining with the o2 minus species o2 minus is called as super oxide okay so they are combining with the super oxide species as we move 
down the group. On moving down the group, because of the lattice effect, the superoxide now if we talk about the lattice energy effect then as we move down the group on moving down the group basically the stability of the superoxide as well as the stability of the peroxide increases okay this we come from the lattice effect we move down the group then the stability of the peroxide which is o2 2 minus and superoxide that is o2 minus increases okay so on moving down the stability of these groups are increases which means that if we talk about the answer that which one will be the correct answer what i'll say i'll say simply LiO2 is less stable than NaO2 then KO2 and then comes the RbO2 so i hope this is fine with all of you that this is the stability order when we talk about the lattice energy effect if we talk about the lattice energy effect lattice energy effect basically means that smaller the size of the ion okay and more is the charge then the lattice energy of the species will increase so this lithium is basically the iron which is smallest in size okay and this is the o2 minus unit now this is small in size and com comparison to this this is also small in size so they both are small and small in size which means that they will this o2 minus is small if it is present in only in the oxide form but since we are having the o2 so this o2 will not be small in size but instead it will be large in size and if this molecule is also large in size this is also large in size and we know large in large molecule will undergo the strong because they are similar in size they will undergo very strong ionic bond formation and since they are forming very strong ionic bond which means that their thermal stability or i can say that their stability will be high so if i look at the order which is given here the answer which will be correct will be i guess b option okay so you can have a look at the answer the answer will be b option
then we'll come to the next question the next question says which of the following is a correct when two single complementary strands of dna comes together to form a double helical structure so this is one single strand combining with the another single strand and this is resulting in the formation of the double helical structure initially number of units is 2 and once they form a double helical structure final the number of units will be 1 and since if we talk about the entropy what is entropy entropy is simply a measure of randomness so entropy is a measure of randomness which means that since the number of entities are decreasing from the initial side to the final side this indicates that the delta s value will be decreasing that is the entropy will be less than 0 okay because two strands are forming the double helical structure and secondly if we talk about the entropy then what will happen the entropy we have discussed now when we talk about the enthalpy what will happen in case of the enthalpy now during the bond formation that is what is happening here so whenever a double helical structure is being formed what, what type of interactions are there the hydrogen bond form, bonding will take place and since the hydrogen bonding is taking place so during the hydrogen bond formation the energy released and when the energy will be released the process will be exothermic in nature and if the process is exothermic in nature this means that the delta h will be less than 0 so the answer will be delta s less than 0 and delta h will be less than 0 now we come to the next question here we are talking about the different transformation when we discuss about the first transformation what the condition we discuss all the four and then we'll decide that which of the following options or which of the following suitable reagents okay so option can either be one or there can be more than one option like the first case is that whenever we are having a benzene unit when this benzene unit is reacting with this alkyl halide in the presence of alcl3 then simply the major product which will be formed in this reaction we know that this reaction is the friedel craft alkylation reaction so in this reaction the major product formed will be this one okay the rearrangement will take place okay chlorine will be removed then carbocation will form here but the rearrangement takes place then this 3 degree carbocation will be more stable and this product will be formed so this is basically the friedel craft alkylation then the next one this is the a case which we have discussed which means that the a is not the appropriate option now we'll come to the b one this is the benzene reacting with the acyl chloride in the presence of alcl3 first thing when it is reacting with this unit there will be a formation of again the friedel craft acylation will take place instead of alkylation what i will say the friedel craft acylation here the carbonyl group comes here the two methyl groups comes and this is called as the friedel craft acylation reaction after this reaction we are basically treating it with h2n nh2 in the presence of koh what does this mean this means that this reaction is undergoing the this reaction is undergoing the wool kishner reduction this, which means that this carbonyl entity will now be replaced by two hydrogen units
right? One hydrogen, another hydrogen. So this is the product we are requiring. So this is the correct option. Next, when we talk about the HF molecule, again, we know that the carbocation generated will be three degree. And if three degree carbocation is generated, then when it reacts with the benzene, it will form this product. And this is again the wrong one. Now, if we do the reaction again with this entity, what will happen? Again, here the acylation reaction will take place. When the acylation reaction takes place, again, this product will be formed. In this reaction also, this product will be formed. This ZN HGHCL is basically the Clemenson reduction. Again, in the Clemenson reduction, what will happen? The carbonyl group is basically converted and the two hydrogen will come here. So this option is also the correct option. So the options which are correct are B comma D. So these are the correct option. So this question is basically from the reactions, the reagent chapter, fine. Then we'll come to the correct trend of the first ionization energies among the following is. Whenever we solve the ionization energy questions, we should have the idea of the valence electron present in each species. I'm writing here the valence electronic configuration, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. It is 2s2, 2p2, 2s2, 2p3, 2s2, 2p4, and 2s2, 2p5. If I talk about the ionization energy, what is ionization energy? It is basically the ability or the tendency of a species to lose an electron or more than one electron it can be. Now, if I talk about the order, what I'll say that among all these, similarly, I should write here for the silicon also, phosphorus, sulfur, fluorine. Similarly, 3s2, 3p2, 3s2, 3p3, 3s2, 3p4, 3s2, 3p5. Here, this nitrogen species is half filled. And we know that if the configuration is half filled or fully filled, then it is the most stable configuration, which means to remove electron from nitrogen will be very, very difficult. So if, to, if removing that electron from the nitrogen is very, very difficult, then what I'll say, I'll simply say that the nitrogen will have more than carbon and more, more than oxygen. Similarly, to remove an electron from the oxygen atom is much easier because if oxygen loses one electron, then it will attain the half filled stable configuration. So for the oxygen, the ionization energy will be very low because it will have the tendency to lose electron to attain the half filled configuration, which means that the fluorine will have more when we talk about the oxygen and fluorine. So the fluorine will have more as compared to the oxygen. Now we are a minute. Then now we will come to, if we compare this order, then what I will say, the A option will be the correct option, right? The nitrogen is having more than carbon and more than oxygen. And among the oxygen and fluorine, the fluorine will be having more than that of the oxygen. Now we will discuss the another case. When we talk about the next case, again, 
the phosphorus is having the half filled electron so the phosphorus will definitely have more than silicon more than sulfur and then again this is the same thing if you see the same electronic configuration everything same here this is also half filled if you know about the upper one then you can solve for this one similarly the b option will be the correct on option the same reason for this one also now we will come to the next one the depression of freezing point of water for 0.1 molar solution of hcl now we know that delta tf that is the depression in freezing point is basically equal to i that is vent of factor into kf that, that is the cryoscopic constant into molality now if i write delta tf1 will be equal to i1 the kf will be constant into molarity is also constant for both that is 0.1 molar solution if i divide it by delta tf2 is equal to i2 into kf into m these two units are same and i just cancel them out now i'll calculate the i value for both the species first i'll going to calculate for the nacl molecule nacl is dissociating into na positive plus cl minus and vent of factor is basically equal to the number of molecules after dissociation divided by before dissociation it will be 2 upon 1 that is 2 and when we talk about the na2so4 then it means that two molecules of na positive reacting with so4 2 minus and the i value will be 2 plus 1 3 divided by 1 which is equal to 3 so if i have to calculate the ratio of delta t1 divided by delta t2 so delta t1 divided by delta t2 will be equal to 2 divided by 3 which is equal to 0 0.67 so the answer will be 0 0.67 it will be actually it will be equal to 0 0.666 but we have to write it up to two decimal places so we will write this.